What about lunar eclipses, solar eclipses? I heard you're not supposed to manifest during that time. So what do you do? Okay. <laughs> so I disagree with that. Oh, you do? Okay. A hundred percent. Tell me why. hundred percent. The thing is, okay, so basically with eclipses, the thing is that um, what you have to do is you have to put it in historical context, okay? So just cast your mind back three or four or 500 years and just say you're a peasant tilling mm-hmm. the field, you know, mm-hmm. just turning the soil over or planting some carrots or something, and then suddenly <gasps> the skies go dark and the birds stop chirping and the dogs start howling and you're like, oh, my God, what's happening? And nobody, there's no Facebook to tell you that there's going to be a total eclipse of the sun. It's just like, oh, my God, what's happening? And so people used to be obviously extremely freaked out by mm-hmm solar eclipses when the skies went dark yeah and then what they would do is that anything bad that happened afterwards they'd blame it on that fateful day the skies went dark you know and so eclipses had this kind of bad reputation but I've been studying eclipses for more than 20 years now and you know touch wood I don't want to tempt fate (laughs) yeah but actually they can really work for you so when I was first learning astrology, I was actually coming out of a really toxic, sort of abusive relationship. And I had an eclipse on my sun at the same time as Saturn went over my Venus. And I was like, oh my God, what's going to happen? And I actually broke up with this guy, but in the most explosive way, in a very eclipse way. Eclipse energy is really powerful energy. But it was the best thing that ever happened to me because Mm -hmm. it freed me up to then meet my husband so we could have our son. And eclipses, what you need to understand about them is they are um, extremely powerful times, but they're not to be feared for being powerful. Mm -hmm. And they're very much about like whacking you back on track if you've gone off the track that your soul wanted to sort of follow this incarnation. Okay. So how should we use eclipses or is it kind of the thing we should just be aware that it's happening and be aware that something big might happen? Yeah. I mean, if you know astrology, definitely have a look in your chart and see where the eclipse is hitting your chart, especially. Mm, So obviously because of my work with the, with the new moon and the full moon, I would say, you know, like set extra powerful intentions at the time of the new moon eclipse Mm -hmm. and do extra powerful release work at the time of the full moon eclipse. It's just like they're really the, the, I mean, I actually studied the work of a woman called Sophia Mason when I was first learning astrology and she talks about eclipses and new moons and the way she says it is they just turn the volume up. So one of her sort of things I just remember from one of her books was you know, if you if you find some money in your jeans pocket on a new moon because your chart is getting triggered in some way, you might find a ten dollar bill. Right. If you find some money in your pocket on a new moon eclipse, maybe you'll find a hundred or two hundred dollars. Do you know what I mean? It's like yeah, it just, so everything's it, amplified. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> 